Hello everyone, this is Shrivenzal, and this is my underwater house, and uh, I haven't really decked it out yet, but one of the things I thought that might be fun is uh, to build an underwater rail system, and this is the beginning of it here, and I wanted to go down deep, so follow me down here, and we so far have um, a tunnel here and uh, surrounded by glass. It's been kind of difficult trying to figure out how to light it and put powered rail. Oh, here's an anomaly I've got going here. Um, so, the first thing we have to do is we have to extend this cobblestone um, sort of hallway the direction we want to go and then we surround it with glass so I'm gonna walk all the way around there and dive down uh, it helps by the way to have a helmet that gives you uh, loads of um, airtime under the water okay so I'm gonna put you on pause while I walk all the way around and dive down into uh, the water Okay, so I'm outside now, and uh, the outside structures is kind of ugly. I wasn't really certain how much glass to put in various places. These protrusions here are where um, we have to... Uh, let's see. Ah. First thing you're going to notice is how I really stink at being underwater. I am not good. Okay, what I want to do is put a piece of glass there. I believe that's one of the blocks I need to take out. Alright, and let's see here. This was one of the weird anomalies, wasn't it? Uh, let's just put a piece no, not glass, you stupid boy. Boy, even underwater. Oh, you know what? I think I'm about to die. <laughs> okay. Up we go. Up we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Down we go. Uh, it helps to not be confused by what you're trying to do. Alright. That's what we want to do. I believe. Alright. So, let me show you over here uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this tunnel here and extend it out that way. Let's head to the surface. I want to take it all the way near that island over there. And I will probably, well it's all sand. I may take it in. Okay, first things first. We need three um, rows of cobblestone. The bottom one is to put the rail on. The, the, top, the top two we dig away to um, have space for the rail car to go through. Okay, so after we do that, we wrap it in glass. And this can get very tedious. It would be nearly impossible to do with just a regular helmet. All 
Okay. Okay. Let's head to the surface. Got a gulp of air. And down we go. I don't know how we're going to see better down here. And I'm not very good at uh, uh, doing this sort of thing. Plus, it's so dark. Okay, up for a gulp of air. Boom. Down we go. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. That's the top two. Now let's bring the third one out for a little bit. Okay, up for a gulp of air we go. Let's get ready with our glass. Boom. All right. Okay, let's continue to wrap. Now the really hard, this is easy. The hard part is knowing where to break it and how to mend it so that you can, uh, okay, so you can, uh, I'm out of glass. Okay, so I gotta get more glass, but first let's go inside, down inside that tunnel and start breaking out some of the glass to show you how that works. Put you on pause for a moment. Okay, so here we are. We're just at the end of our, inter our little hallway here, underwater. And now I'm going to be able to safely take out these pieces of uh, cobblestone here without fear of uh, the water gushing in because they take up the space where the water was. And I'm not sure how far I'm going to be able to go until it bursts in on me. pretty soon here. I'm going to reach the end of my work. Yeah, there it is. Alright, what happened to my torch? There it is. Okay, so we're just going to keep working on this. At some point down in here, um, I have to get my torches above. Uh, otherwise I won't be able to put my rail down because it takes up the same space and my redstone torches have to be off to the side where the uh, powered rails are going to be so I have to come along here on the outside uh, actually I can do some of it on the inside where do I want another torch there and there and there. Okay. And now I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to go on the outside and box in down below here. Um where I'm going to put my other cobblestone for my 
our redstone torches. So I'm going to put you all on pause while I go get more glass, and I do that for the outside of the uh, the uh, tunnel. Okay, so I got some rail here, and we're just going to begin to fill in some of this stuff. And uh, I have a feeling we're going to be a little disappointed in uh, how this works. Uh, what happens? My, here we go. Maybe not. Poo. When I went outside, I forgot one. All right, we'll have to put a powered rail there after we uh, fix it. Oh. Powered rail, redstone, regular rail, powered rail, regular rail. for this one. Ah, and we're out of rail. Okay, so we are doing okay. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause again for a few moments while I go grab some more glass and make some more rail. Alright guys, well I'm sorry that this video is a little um, disjointed. Not very well organized. I apologize for that. Is this the spot that I cannot... every time I do something bad happens? Let's do that. And that. See about surrounding that piece of um, cobblestone and glass so that when we break it, we don't keep uh, leaking. All right, so I got some more glass here. And we're going to come down here and we're going to continue to wrap our central hallway cobblestone uh, with uh, glass. So, this will uh, let us break through without uh, worrying about water blocks being in there. Okay. Alright, we gotta go up for a gulp of air. Alright, and while we only have a few panes of glass left, let's decide where our next um, uh, light's going to be. Alright. Okay, let's make it there. Whoops. Sorry, guys, you can really tell I'm a spaz. Alright, we gotta go up for air. Yeah, it's dark down there. I'm locked up. Here we go. I don't know what happens. 
We gotta break this block out. That's where our light's gonna go. And let's see, let's put one here. And then the rest will be glass. Okay, do I have any more? No. I have some cooking in my uh, house over there. Okay. Put you on pause for a moment. Okay, so here we are. We're continuing. To fill in the rail. And let us start digging out some of the stuff here. Don't remember exactly how far we got. So at some point, the water is going to come cascading in. I don't know why I put that down as soon as the water comes in. It's going to lift that all up. Yikes, there it is. Alright. So you get the idea. You get the idea. Okay. So. I'm going to continue working on... Uh, uh, basically making sure that that tunnel keeps going towards that mountain and if it's not all sand we're gonna dig into that mountain and make ourselves a little way station and we'll continue the rail out into the ocean proper so once again we're gonna put you on pause alright guys we have got it a fair distance of the way out there and now we're just gonna test it Not as impressive as I had hoped. <laughs> but, you know. Pretty cool. Okay, well that's going to be the end of this video, guys. We will um, pick it up later on when I'm digging into that mountain back there. And then we're heading out that direction, out into the uh, ocean. See how far we can take it. It's kind of tedious. Um, the real tedium is, as you get farther, and f as I get farther and farther away from this installation here, my swimming back and forth gets longer and longer so I really do need to make some kind of base in that mountain so that I don't have to have this exponentially rising uh, trips back and forth in terms of time anyway uh, hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, we'll pick it up uh, later on